Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be styling up swimwear for daywear. So I've made myself a little iced coffee to keep me cool because we have been on a run with some good weather here in the UK which is what inspired this video. So you can get the most out of swimwear in your wardrobe so you don't just save it for holidays because quite a few of us will probably not be going anywhere now after everything that's happened and money and things like that. So I want you to get the most of wear out of the items in your wardrobe like I love to do. The top that I'm styling today is from a bikini swimwear brand called Away That Day. They're a sustainable brand and they very kindly gifted me this piece. I just think it's very kind of a Zara-esque crop top, you wouldn't necessarily think this is a piece of swimwear looking at it, which is why it fits perfectly for these looks. So let's get into the video, there's going to be five looks, I'm going to talk you through them and everything will be linked in the description box below as always, US, UK links. If you're new here, I would love if you click subscribe, follow me along and see me for two fashion style videos a week, but let's get crack-a-lacking on the swimwear as daywear styling video. For my first outfit, I have styled the bikini top with a pair of linen trousers. These are last season from Marks and Spencer, but I'll try and find some similar ones to link below. But linen is just such a great material for spring and summer, really lightweight. Only downside is that it creases like a <laughs> But we'll just go with the worn effect. And I love a neutral, a neutral and black together. Looks perfect. I have as well a matching blazer, also from Marks and Spencer's last year's collection. So again, I'll try and find something similar, but you could just pair together a similar top and trousers. They don't have to be, you know, made for each other. They can just be similar hues that tone really nicely together. And I just love a tailored look with a high waist with your bikini. So you've only got a tiny little bit of skin popping through. And then for my feet, I've tied up my Dr. Martin sandals actually around the trousers because I love the trend. I've seen people doing it with heel shoes. So I thought I would give it a go with these. I know it's not everybody's bag, but try things out and you'll never know if you like them unless you give them a go. So I am really loving this look. And to finish it off, I have my Tega inspired clutch bag from I Saw It First, which you can hold as clutch or you can wear across your body like this. And that's the first way that I would style a bikini top for day wear. You can't go wrong with double denim for spring summer. I absolutely love a cheeky Canadian tux. Again, they don't have to be perfect partners. I've got on a Calvin Klein men's denim jacket and then on the bottoms, these jeans are actually the Levi's wedgie jeans. And I love the light wash of them. They're slightly cropped, we've got a fray hem. Then I thought I'd pair it with some mules. Now these are my Bottega mules. I have a separate box unboxing styling video on these, I'll leave it linked. And for my bag, the cutest spring summer accessory is this Topshop basket bag. Again, last season, but there's so many basket bags available online. I would say mainly look in Etsy, you'll find some really good ones there. But again, I will link everything in the description box below and alternative square, I don't have them. I love the denim on denim look. You could wear black on black, indigo on indigo, whatever floats your boat. But I always think that bleach denim is perfect for spring, summer attire. So this is the second way to style your swimwear for day wear. Next up is more on an evening out look and a updated way you can wear cycling shorts. I would say, and a more long-lasting style in your wardrobe would be to go for some denim long line tight fitting shorts. These are from Bauchan last year, but I'll try and find some similar ones. As you will see, I like to rewear things in my wardrobe and I'm a firm believer in getting the right pieces that will see you through season to season to season until it wears out and you need a new one basically. I love the denim shorts, they're something a little bit different and I also think they're really slimming and figure flattering the high waisted, really stretchy and comfortable. So big thumbs up for these. Then over the top I've thrown this beautiful Lovies blazer. How amazing is this colour? And lilac is going to be a big colour for spring, summer. When I'm going to wear colour personally, I like to wear it with a neutral palette underneath, whether that's all white or black or denim or grey, all one base colour really, or all neutrals. I don't like to have too many colours fighting against each other. Personal preference because I'm not a huge colour lover, but this is the full look together. I've paired it with my Nasty Gal flip-flop style heels. Again, something that's going to be popular 
toe post heels this year and also comfortable they've got a small manageable heel and i've just paired it with my ysl bag which is the bag i always take with me if i'm going to go out for drinks or for food and i will leave my handbag collection video linked on the screen as well in case you've not seen that so adding a little pop of color to my outfits and really loving this elongating lengthening look for look number four, I switched things up with a skirt. Again, high waisted, so they just complement the bikini, and I prefer just a tiny bit of mint on show. I wouldn't really style a bikini top with a pair of trousers or a skirt that sits on your hips, personally. And this is more of a preppy vibe, and also something that's really cool and comfortable for walking around in, and easy to kind of slip on and off as you wish. So, say once we're all out and about again if you were walking around and then you were going to stop in the park to have a drink and maybe sunbathe you could just easily take this shirt off to catch a little bit of sun and then easily pop it back on it's a huge oversized shirt from Topshop you could have a play with it you could tighten a knot at the front loads of ways that you can wear this shirt it also comes in white and black as well and I just love it I've been wearing a lot working at home as well with just cycling shorts, a bra and my sports socks because it's just really comfortable and versatile. The skirt is my whistle skirt that you will have seen in the trench coat style video. Again, an old skirt, I've had this for about three, five years. Always bring it out so I'll find some similar ones to link. Then for shoes, I've gone for the chunky boot. These are from Misguided. Really comfortable, really lightweight despite the size of the sole. So. A good pair of boots for spring summer because your feet won't be too hot in them and i paired my favorite little wee designer bag my little prada bag for a 90s kind of feel because i feel this looks very 90s schoolgirl preppy kind of style but with a bit of a modern minimal twist to it so that is outfit number four the fifth outfit is a day wear but slightly looks because I've popped on a satin midi skirt. I always find these so comfortable, especially in the warmer months. And obviously I've gone black on black. Again, it's high waisted, the perfect combination if you ask me. And I've paired over the top my All Saints leather jacket. It's oversized the way I like it. But you could always switch this around and do white with a black leather over the top or whatever colour floats your boat. For my bag, I've tied in my Senrev Mini Maestro bag because it's so big. It's just really handy for shopping. You can wear it as a backpack, you can wear it over your shoulder. Again, it's in my handbag collection video. And then I've just finished it off with my Balenciaga Triple X. Now this reminds me of an outfit I wore last year on my Instagram. I'll leave it on the screen. And it got a lot of love. So I think this is quite a favourable combination. And it's something you could dress up for the evening by switching out your trainers for a pair of heels, swapping your bag, and then maybe always swapping your leather for a blade depending what you're doing but I'm really not sure which is my favorite I think it's perhaps this one this is the way I probably get the most wear out of my bikini top in the UK from those five swimwear for outerwear looks I would love to know which is your favorite I think mine has to be this last one maybe or maybe the first one Oh, I don't know, maybe all of them, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, I'd love if you gave it a thumbs up, clicked that subscribe button, that would really mean a lot to me. I know a lot of you, about 85% of you who watch, aren't actually subscribed, so it would really help me out if you did. And if you click the notification bell, you can always get notifications of when I upload. I'm uploading twice a week at the moment, so let me know if there's anything fashion and style related that you want to see from me. Leave that in the comments, and I can definitely film that as well. I will have some more videos here, if you want to watch more if you did enjoy it and i hope you're all well staying safe and i will see you on thursday for my next video bye guys